You have the same curtains? My red curtains, they're so, they're so red. <laughs> Hi, Linda. How are you, Memic? I do too. I love them too. I was going to get, I'm making my tea. That's why I'm kind of like bent over like this. Um, I was going to get like black in between, but I liked the red so much that I just kept the red. Ah, uh, love you too. Oh, <laughs> uh, Linda says, just came back from Kohl's shopping. It's crazy. I don't, I don't like to shop either, Linda. Ask me how much Christmas shopping I did. None. I'm like, listen, I have my list. I'm in and out. I don't like shopping either. I make the best of it, but I don't love it. If I know exactly what I'm getting, then I, I don't mind it because I have a plan. I have to have a plan when I'm shopping. I can't be all over the place. Like my um my sister-in-laws, when I, we would like go shopping together, like they were good shoppers. Like they just liked to shop. They enjoyed it. And I was, I was always like standing in the corner. I'm just like, I'm just, I just don't enjoy it like that. I enjoyed being with them and having fun with them. And I liked the lunch more than I liked the shopping part. I'm just, I'm just not a browser. I'm not like that type of person. If anything, for me, shopping is overwhelming because I don't buy just to buy. Like I don't want stuff in my house. Like I just don't want to buy it just because, right? If I want it, I will buy it. I'll be like, oh, I want that, right? So I'm not, not saying that they're like that, but you know, they, my one sister-in-law has kids and little kids and stuff like that, but for me, it's just not enjoyable. I want, I need more. <laughs> yeah. So my, I like shopping with my daughter. She's fun. We have fun together when we shop, but she's probably more of the, like, she'll say, mom, buy it. Like, oh, mom, buy it, buy it for yourself. And I'm always like, nah, nah I don't need it. I just, I just don't like to have too much stuff, honestly. I'm wanting on my settlement should have been here in November. I feel stuck. Well, you're too focused on it, obviously, right? You're you're too focused on it. That's why you feel stuck because your your attention is on it and you're more concerned about it. So in those moments, you, Isaac, you use that to your advantage. You do the relaxing practices. You calm yourself down in that moment. You remind yourself everything's working out fine. There's nothing I need to worry about. It's always working out. So in those moments, you want to remind yourself to get back into flow, Isaac, because it's all about that flow and knowing what it feels like to be in flow and to remind ourselves what it feels like not to be in flow. And, and that would be a reason not to be in flow because you're worried about something that you really can't control right now because nothing's happening. So you got to relax and you got to get calm. And that's what redirects your focus to things that are working. So those things can work themselves out in the best way. Does that make sense, Isaac? This is perfect. I'm about to walk and go grab. Oh, are you Kay? <laughs> I love your hair. I go yeah, it's it's light. It's slightly layered. This is straight. I I didn't do anything. I just straightened it. So I the way I cut it. Honestly, I could show you guys how I cut it. You could do it yourself. Um, two, four, six. I've been doing it like this forever. So I just cut long layers and then I do like angles in the front kind of the angles just take care of themselves when you do the layers let me get my tea guys and then I'll go sit down and we'll chat so I'm gonna anytime I'm gonna try to jump on these lives a little more often I, I know I told you guys that but I am instead of like, you know, sometimes I find myself like scrolling through TikTok, even if it's just watching my own TikToks, I like to answer questions, but I'm really trying to stay away from anything that doesn't really serve me. Honestly, social media does not serve me. That's just where I'm at right now at all. So I'm really trying to stay away from any of that. Just focus on, you know, this kind of stuff.
So this is the this is the mug that I made for myself. Relax, have fun, it's done. But I never use it because it doesn't keep my tea warm. So I end up pouring it in my what's it called? Stanley. All right. Let's go sit down and I'll, hopefully my connection is survives this. Cuz this is my favorite spot to sit on this couch with my heat. I know this is major close up guys, but just getting adjusted. This is me in my spot. Literally, like I live here with my heated blanket in the mornings. And this is what I do. Like I sit in the morning, I answer your guys' questions. And then sometimes I just have this free time. So I was like, maybe I'll start doing lives. Oh, Mamic, I love that. Right, Kat K, like, it's just, there's too, like, I love my little light videos that I have. Like, there's a few people that I follow, and, oh, my Zoom's not working. And I, it's just light stuff. It's, like, funny light stuff, and that I like, but it's, even that's short and simple. I, I follow, like, some of you guys I follow, but a lot of, a lot of people don't, you guys don't even have content. So I thought about, like, really just quiet. Just want to take wanted to take my Bluetooth tooth off, and just think, guys, it's taking you away from your your. So be just not be aware because I had my time where it helped me relax, but be aware of what it's taking you from, right? Because I noticed that the more I stay away from it, it it gives me more time to focus on these things that I love to do that are more in alignment with me and my success. And moving me forward and being able to help you guys more and help myself more as well to move towards my goals and dreams and the things I came here to do, right? The things I planned before I got here. So, you know, it's okay and it does, re it is a relaxing practice. I find it to be relaxing at times, but just make sure it's not taking you away from something that could be more, I don't like to use the word productive because I just don't like the labels behind that word, something that would be serving you more, right? An interview of Angela Angelina where she says, and for harm. Oh, Val, that's so funny, Val. I, I seen the, we're so in alignment because I seen the same video. And I always loved Angelina Jolie. I never knew why. I just always loved her energy. I think it's because she just has such a strong, confident presence about her. But yeah, she did. She did say that. I definitely resonated with that. Yeah, it's more of like, Val, like, she said, feel it. You have to feel it. I don't like to say feel it to heal it because you. it's more so you got to feel it to release it because we know more now, right? So whenever you're not feeling good, it's about feeling it, moving through it with grace and love and not labeling it. Remember not to label it. And the more you do these practices, you won't label it. And then it passes and then you feel better. Like this morning, I had some resistance this morning. And my daughter's like, mom, I'm hungry. I want this or that or whatever. And I'm, I had to move through that with grace and kindness and love still. But I was in a lower energy. I had resistance. But because I took my time, because I took my time and I was still kind in those moments and I'm very aware in those, it's, it's all that awareness. I'm very aware of what's going on, right? It's just, I'm having a little dip in my energy. Uh, maybe she just caught me off guard and you know, like whatever, it doesn't matter why, but I moved through it with grace and love and kindness. And then I was fine. And then, and then all of a sudden you snap out of it and you're good again. Right? So it's all about in those moments, in those dips, in those lower energies, you're just moving through them with grace and kindness and calmness. They can happen anytime, anywhere, right? It's just about not labeling it in those moments and we get better at it. I know. I always loved her. I just always loved her. Oh, I saw that. See, guys, see, we're all in alignment, are we not? <laughs> Kay's like, I seen the same video. It kind of lets you know that we're all d like going through the same thing, that like, we really resonate. Yes. Right? I'm, 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 in, I'm scrolling, reading your questions. I'm not saying what they are. I'm like, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I know. 
I hear you, Linda. <laughs> I know. I, I, this is my spot right here. This is me all the time. This is where I answer all your guys' questions. This is my chill spot. Hi, Brenda. I know this is early. We're not going to see all our peeps on here. I'm going to try to get on again today if I can. Because my kids kind of like they have plans a little bit today. So which gives me more space and time. So I'll probably go on a little bit later as well. Okay, so Michelle, when it comes to this, these pra my practices take care of all of that. So it's more so Michelle says how to manifest more money. You have to know that you're moving towards that, Michelle. You have to, that has to be enough. You have to know that you're exactly where you're supposed to be in this moment. Like you have to make this your most abundant timeline, right? In order to bring in your most abundant timeline. So that's why my practices are a little bit different the way people teach it. It's, it's more so just, it's a knowing and understanding, Michelle, that your most abundant timeline exists right now. And that includes your financial freedom. That includes your successes. That includes what you love to do that brings in money, right? You just have to know that it's, you're moving towards that now. And now it's more so about making the best of where you're at, right? With, with where you're at, wherever you're at, we're all in different places, right? And you just have to know you're moving towards that. You'll start to be doing things that are more in alignment with you, things that bring you more joy. And the byproduct of that is money. Money comes from that. Also, another thing I say, so can I? Yes, you can say that because it is. So uh, Michelle says, so here's another, here's another good explanation about affirmations. It, if that feels good to you, say it. It is the truth. Everything's happening for you, Michelle. Everything's happening for me. So you can say things like that. Now that I know what I know, now that I have this knowledge that my best reality exists in this moment, everything's working for me now to get me there. So yes, so that's the truth. A lot of times that there's resistance in that because we don't believe we word something, the same affirmation and just reword it. So sometimes I would say, sometimes I would say, I am, my most abundant timeline exists right now. That felt right to me. If I were to say I'm in my most abundant timeline right, right now, at times that didn't feel good to me because I was like too focused on the unwanted, right? But just knowing that it existed for me was enough. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm so lucky to know this information. That always brought me peace, right? So it's about, not really about what you're saying, it's how it feels when you're saying it. You have to resonate with it. You have to line up with it. Exactly, Caprice. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Like we're all different and we all resonate with different things. We're not all going to vibe with the same thing. And that's the point, right? We're all having our own personal experience. You know, that's why I try to keep my, my, my audios very unlimited and very like, not just your manifest. Cause this is, like I said, it's, your abundant timeline exists in every aspect and area of your life. That's enough. That's all you need to know. The details happen as life happens. The more you make the best of this moment, they just come in. It's very natural. It's very gradual. So that's why I don't really true. I don't, I never vibed with affirmations because you don't need them. You only need to know that your best possible reality exists in this moment. That that's all you need to know. Everything else will take care of itself. It's more about you understanding what flow is. You got to understand what it feels like to be in flow versus not being in flow and how you can always be in flow. You can always 24 seven be in flow. It's really about in those moments when you have a dip in your energy, it's, am I resisting or am I just flowing even with this moment? How you flow with these moments of having dips in your energy is by just laying low in those moments, just staying calm and quiet in those moments, you know, doing the best you can in those moments without labeling it like there's something wrong. There's nothing wrong in those moments. It's just part of this human experience, right? And the, the more you can lay low, the quicker they pass. Hi, Kurt. <laughs> yes, magic. I, I was like, put in, like I had sunglasses on my head just now. Oh, uh, thanks, Marcelo. Did I say that right? Oh, have a great day. Oh, 
Ah, oh, Linz, I love that. You just have to... Ah, oh, I love that magic. You just have to really... Um, be honest with yourself in those moments, right? And you have to practice it. There's no there's no way around it. You have to practice it for yourself. You have to practice, you know, what it feels like to be in that flow. It's very easy to be in flow. And I always say the best thing to go to when you're not sure, like sometimes I'm like, I don't know, am I in flow right now? I, I can't tell. I'm just here and now. There's nothing really going on. And that's when I would do the relaxing practice because that puts you right back into flow. Like, just softening your body, relaxing your shoulders, and you know, and then it moves you to something next. It moves you to something new. Without a doubt, it's it's really is about that, right, magic? It really is about living in the moment. And we just forgot how to live in the moment. Some of us never knew how to live in the moment. Always someone asked me um about like, oh, what if today's questions on TikTok were what about at work, busy days at work? Well, that's where I started all of this was at my work. And it's really about just um, focusing on one task at a time, right? Just It's all the things we used to hear. It's nothing new. Um, it's just about now we know more. So now you can catch those moments when you're in your mind too much, when you're thinking about what's next, when you're thinking about what just happened before. Did I make a mistake? So now it's just the awareness factor. Now we know more. Now we know, okay, let me just focus on this right now, what I'm doing, and just take my time with this one thing. And then you master that one thing, and you get good at that one thing. I was always good at my jobs because I was very, I was able to be in the present moment. Not saying I was perfect because I definitely didn't know that what I know now, right? But I always did have that way about me, that calm energy about me. Hey, Barbara. Kira therapy. I always I laugh when people say everybody trying to be a life coach these days. And I'm like, I don't consider myself a life coach. I don't know how this happened. I just fell into this. I think I was always like this to a degree as well. I say, no, it's not a life coach. It's people just helping people. That's all it is. <laughs> you did. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, oh, Linda. You know, it's funny, guys, because it's really just common sense stuff, though. When people ask me questions now, I realize how common sense it is. Like, but before I was always, even I was making it more complicated because there's so much information out there. And I go back to thinking, like, um, someone asked me, what if my friend is venting to me? And I said, it's, it's actually really easy. If someone's venting to you, now you know, now we know what we know, right? You just have to be calm in those moments and just change the subject. Be light about it. And I'm telling you, the more you do those types of things, people don't come to you because you're not really giving them what they want. Or they're like, oh, I like I like talking to her. It's, it feels good to talk to her. They don't know why, but they like it because you're more positive. You're more light about things. Like you just don't give in to that, to those conversations anymore. And it's really just common sense stuff. It's It's not really like anything that deep. It's pretty simple. Ah, oh, magic. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just that people don't understand, you know. I, you know, I don't, I don't take offense to when people say stuff like that. I kind of laugh at it. I don't even consider myself a life coach. Like... Honestly, I, I, for me, it's more about manifesting and understanding that in a different way because I think the way it's being taught is very limiting from what I got out there. So that's what I, my focus is actually not as more on manifesting and getting people out of that, doing things to manifest that cycle and getting these things to fill a void. Like that's really what I want to get people out of. Um, but yeah, like the other things to me are just like pretty much common sense now. Like, you know, now if somebody's coming to you and they're complaining, it's just about you all, first of all, having compassion, always have compassion because not everybody knows this information. So now it's your job to be an example in people's lives, but you can't be an example if you're judging them. If you're like, Oh, she's so annoying. All she does is complain, which I've done that before. I've done that. I'm like, Oh my God, she complains all the time. But now I knew that that was just keeping it in my reality and I'm judging that person. That's not being an example. 
the more that you, how you be an example is you just be pleasant and you be light in those moments. You don't respond. And if you do, it's like very light and very light, sweet response. That's what I always say. One response and that's it. That's it. That's how you change the mood. Do I call people? It depends, inspired for successes. It depends on if, it, it depends on where people are at. If I call, calling people out on their BS is more so is if somebody's been following me for a while or they're using my practices and they continue asking the same questions, then I will. Then I'll say, listen, I give you what I what I can, what works. It's up to you to do the practices. That's as far as I go with it. Um, everybody is where they're at. Some people are just jumping into this and they don't understand this. So it's really, I don't call people out. I just, I under, I can kind of understand where people are at. If they're new to this information versus if they've been following me for a while and repeating the same questions over and over again. And I can tell it's because they're not getting that you just have to practice this because it really is just a practice that takes practice. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yes, exactly, Michelle, exactly. Yeah, because I think that that's a big part in it. It is a big part in these things and helping people is having compassion for others. And, you know, being love, uncondition it's unconditional love, like no judgment. But again, it does also, I have to remind, some. sometimes I have to remind you that like this is the practice. It works, you just have to stick to it. It really, it really all comes down to that. But... Sometimes when you hear something in a different way, it clicks. That's why my audios are so powerful because it's very repetitive, but it's said in all different kinds of ways. So that's why sometimes if you hear it a little bit different, it's like, oh, wait, now that clicked for me. It didn't click for me in that last video that she made, but it clicked for me in this video, right? But that's why I make the content I make. Even when I have things to do, there is a lady that needs help. I will stop. Oh, Linda, you're so sweet. Super so sweet. Yeah. And not only that, I love, this is like my life. Like I literally live for this. So for me, even I'm thinking of different ways, like for myself, and then I want to share it. Right? But I will tell you, it all comes down to being in flow and catching those moments when you're not in flow. And relaxing practices are going to help you do that. They're going to help you become more sensitive to energy. Relaxing practices help you become more sensitive. So doing things like this when I'm like having a warm cup of tea and I'm in my warm blanket or when I'm in the warm sunshine relaxing, soaking in the tub, those types of practices, they're like meditative practices. They help you become more sensitive to those moments when you're like, oh, there I go. There I go complaining and figure anything out because it's that's going backwards. It's flow is forward movement. I, that's what I always remind myself. Flow is forward movement. F flow is me moving towards everything that's best for me. It's not going back and worrying about something or fighting with something or arguing with something. It's none of that. It's never having to figure anything out. When I got in Kohl's today, I started getting, right? I know, Linda, I say that all the time. Like people say, what about if you're sick? What about if you have a headache? I mean, what about if I have pins and needles in my leg? I'm just going to lay low until it goes away. You, it's just about not really, just stay calm. It'll it'll pass, right? I get stomach aches too. I talk about this all the time. Like sometimes I self overeating. I try not to do that because I don't like it. How long was I talking? I just realized it was on, my connection was bad. It went red. And I, I try to be aware of it because sometimes I'm yapping. But at least it was from doing something good, Linda, your backache from walking. So whenever I get pains in my muscles from working out, like if I did a little extra in my workout, I like those pains. I'm like, oh yeah, they're they're workout pains. Um, this I'm weird though. I like when I get a little bit of like a tiny bit of sunburn too, like when I'm in the sun, because I'm like, oh, that like 
I just like that feeling. I'm weird. I know I'm weird. But so workout pains for me are good. Muscle pains for me, I connect them to good. Like I know I'm doing something. I know I'm my skin's getting darker, right? When I'm getting a little bit of like a little bit of sunburn. So, but I'm I'm weird though. <laughs> it's called age. I don't know what you mean by that. Breath work helps me with any pain. Oh yeah, so Kayla said she uses breath work. I used to um, do breath work a lot in the beginning when I was still learning these things and these techniques. And I actually have a playlist on here, meditation breath work that I used to use a lot. Um, I, I had a breath work technique that really helped me too. But I don't use those things anymore. I don't even really share them with people too much anymore. Uh, I try to like, because breath work's great. It was great for when I was home, but I couldn't really do the breath work when I was at my job. So like, I try to make it more um, convenient. Like if you're in the store, granted, I still would do the breath work from time to time. Don't get me wrong. I would have a mask on because I'd be panicking. Yeah, so Linda like says like sometimes when she's in the store, she'll use it. Powerful in those moments though. If you're ever having a panic attack or you're ever having anxiety, guys, out of nowhere, um, really just relax your shoulders. Relax your face, relax your shoulders, and and breathe slow. Really slow down your breathing. Do you ever have that cry where you can't stop crying? And it's like, <laughs> right? It's like you got to catch your breath. So in those moments, just the simple practice of relaxing your body. And it's very, um, I can't find the right word for it. It's very, what's a word if you could, you can use it anywhere. I don't want to say realistic. I don't want to say productive, but you can use it anywhere when you're just like, you drop your shoulders, relax your face, drop your shoulders and just do very slow breathing and just say, I'm fine. Everything's fine. I'm safe. I'm good. All is good right now. Yeah, right, Kayla? So so use that one. Use the one I just said. Relax your face, drop your shoulders, and do the slow breathing. Really, really slow breathing. Slow breathing's really powerful. Really, really powerful. Oh, thanks, Kaylin. Hi, Kaylin. Hi, Dave. Oh, I thought you were... It's, Big, uh, it was Big Daddy Diet. I thought he was, uh, I thought your name was Dave. I don't know if I, what's good? This is going to be such a green holiday. Oh, I love that. How do I meditate for longer? Really want to get into it. Okay. So when it comes to meditation, it's all about, again, it's how you feel, right? So I always found it, for me, Michelle, this is how I liked used to meditate. This is how I liked meditating. I like to find a sound that I liked. I actually have a lot of these in TikTok playlists. It's called Fun Easy Meditations. I used to like, I would find a sound, usually just air condition worked for me, or like a fan noise, and redirect your focus over and over again to the sound. So when you find yourself drifting or thinking again, Go up, oh, no, right back to the sound. And just keep doing that over and over again. That's going to strengthen your focus. That's going to strengthen your focus. So that's what I used to do. That's how I meditated. No problem, Michelle. I have tons of them. Check them out. There's some cool beats, cool sounds. Um, if you would just like it, then it would go into your favorites and you can listen to one of them like on repeat. Oh, there you go. That's it. I never did that. The ice bath. So I was always like a person that I'm all about the warm bath. Like I never wanted to put my body through shock. But now that I've been doing these practices longer, like I can sustain the cold more. Now I can, but I never put it my, I never put my body through those types of, I know they work for a lot of people. They're really good for a lot of people, not me. Like I was never one to like get into an ice bath or any of that, but now I can walk out in the cold, like just in my tank top and I'm fine. Um, so I think it's just because I built up that strength over time by doing my practices, right? Oh, thanks. Olivia says she loves my wig. <laughs> 
girl, some days I want a wig. Some days I want to put a wig on. What do I search for? Michelle, go into onto my TikTok here. You'll see all the playlists up top. There's a whole bunch of them. Release Resistance. I have Bashar, Abraham Hicks. You see them all up top. There's a whole bunch of playlists. You'll see Easy Fun Meditations. You're not searching anything. It's actually on my page. Let me know if you find it. Okay, so, Barbara, I was just, I know, people are funny, though. I love your wig. Girl, let me tell you, my hair feels like, feels like a wig, like, my hair is hay right now. Um, uh, okay, family trauma. Okay, first of all, don't call it family trauma. You're just giving it so much energy, right, and so much attention. My family trauma, all the things they did to me, right, just always remind yourself that, it's all reaction. You're just reacting to it. You're keeping it alive by calling it those things, by saying I have to heal my trauma and all those stories that we tell ourselves over and over again. Thanks, Kaylin. Um, so really, you're, it's going to go back to my practices. Anytime you start, that starts to come up, those stories start to come up, you have to, you have to quiet them down. You have to relax your body. You have to calm yourself down. You have to quiet your body. I mean, you have to quiet, you have to quiet your mind in those moments the best you can. Sometimes in the beginning, you're just calming yourself down and the stories might still be there, but you're, de you're deactivating them the more you relax ar around them. See, you have to know, you have to, and I know you know this because you've been, you follow me and you know this stuff, that you have to know now you're moving towards best and better, that your most abundant timeline exists right now. Your best life exists right now. None of that is involved in it, right? None of that is involved in it. So you keep yourself there by labeling it, by saying my family trauma, I have to heal all these things first. There's nothing to heal. It's just I'm either in flow with this moment or I'm not. And you're not in flow when you're, I gotta, I, how do I forgive them? How do I heal my family trauma? You're repeating those stories. That's not flow. So it starts with the practice of quiet, calm, relaxing your body in those moments and those remind, it's all my practices. It's all my practices. But you gotta remember, JC, that you gotta stick to them. Let me tell you, it takes practice. At first, these stories are very active. They're very dominant in our lives. There was a lot of things I had to let go in order to mo keep moving forward, right? So, and it's not very comfortable. And we want to, we're quick to label them. We're quick to use them as an excuse not to live our best lives. My family trauma, these people hurt me. They did me wrong. It keeps you in victim mindset. So you really want to use that to your advantage to, qu to relax your body, Soften your body in those moments and remind yourself, no, I'm not going to do this anymore. This just keeps me here and I want to move towards what's best and better. It gets easier, DD said. It does. It gets easier. It really does, guys. You just got to stick to it. I'm telling you, those things are heavy and your true nature is light. Your true nature is light as a feather, right? So that's why you're doing these practices to, to lighten up in those moments to lighten up in those moments. But again, it really does take practice. It's, it's easy to go back to those old patterns, right? But trust me, the more you do it, you won't. Oh, I love that, Caprice. I'm gonna put, I have a couple that I gotta, I gotta get on there. The, the newest ones, I'm gonna get up there. My yeah, my YouTube's really good, guys. Go to my YouTube. I have all my lives on there from past lives to up until now, and I'm going to update them soon. They're just very long, and there are a lot of great information in there because it's a lot of people asking questions. So um, go back to, always go to YouTube and watch the lives, especially if you're new to this stuff. Oh, I love it, Caprice. I love it. I know, I love the questions. Like even when I go back, they're all good. They're really good. The lives are good. Oh, thanks, Michelle. <laughs> Kaylin's new. Yeah, so Kaylin, when I go on here, I always say like the best resources to go to would be to go to my lives on YouTube. I don't get great connection right here, but I'm, I'm refusing to move because it's just so comfy. Go to my lives on YouTube if you're new. Go to YouTube, go to my lives, and you can watch. There's a lot of videos on my playlist as well. Uh, Manifest Properly is a good one. Go back to that. 
honestly, you could just scroll through all these videos as well. The ones that I post daily too. Just to, it's very simple information. It's not difficult. Like I said, it's me explaining this in all different kinds of ways, but it's the same message over and over again. Hi, Caitlin. <laughs> I should have said hi first. Living with the past prevented me. Yeah, it's so true, DD. It just keeps us stuck. But you can see your, you, you start to see your past so differently, right? You start to see it as, um, you know, it got me to where I am now, right? And I can start to see the good in it. So like right now in my life, and I think I was always this way. I was always positive, seeing the best in situations. Uh, that, that was my nature. Um, but like even to this day, like I can see the good. Like my dad wasn't in my life, but I have so many great memories of him as well. And I, I choose to focus on those. But it gets easier to focus on those the more you do these practices even more. The more you do these practices, you only, you're not going to even go there about a bad memory. You're just not going to go there. It's easier to start seeing things in a different way. Is YouTube a thing on this? You, what do you mean is YouTube a thing? Like on here? No, but I do have a, um, a link you can you can click on here and go right to the my YouTube through this you can hi Donald right Ferris Ferris said you deserve the world life is short choose happiness it really does come down to that so it's about this. It's Well, I always say the opposite. I say there is no end to any of this because we never die, right? Energy never dies. We never die. It just goes on forever. And if anything, the end, if you're looking for an end goal, it's to be happy. That's your end goal in each moment. And also knowing what we know now, right? Because now we know that we can be doing of anything we want. Now we know our best... Um, Reality exists in this moment. It exists right now. It's all making its way to us right now. Everything is made. And, and you're either letting it in or you're not. You're either letting it in or you're not. So it's all about that flow. It's all about being in flow. It doesn't mean that everything gets taken from you. Like I have moments where I'm not in flow, guys. But it doesn't mean all those things that I manifested already go away. I'm just cutting off the supply of what I could be letting in in this moment. Right? It's so much more unlimited than that. So don't think it's stopping your manifestations from coming in either. Don't even worry about the manifestations. They're coming either way. They're done, right? It's just knowing you want that thing. It's coming in. Uh, it's more so about just am I cutting off the supply in this moment or am I not cutting off the supply of what's possible for me? Yeah, so I always say you just get better at it. There's no like you can't make a mistake when we know what we know now. You just get better at it. That's it. You get better at these practices. You get more aware. I'm not magic. I never heard of that song. I probably want. I probably. I probably say it wrong too. Pro, pro, pro Noia by Carly Pearl. This is driving me crazy. This my my shirt. It's like not fitting right. Exactly, Caprice. Exactly. Caprice says, our subconscious already knows. Like, I always, I used to get that question a lot. Does my, does the universe know what I want? Well, you're the universe, right? So you just have to know it's done. You know, like, I always used to tell people, you can remind yourself that it's done. Just don't focus on it. Don't make, don't be, you don't want to be in that chasing energy. You don't want to be needing that thing in order to feel better. You got to feel better now. It's about really feeling whole now. And being open to all of the amazing things that you put here before you got here now. And letting them things in. And it has a lot to do with staying away from a lot of stuff. I will say that. I can tell you right now, one piece of advice, powerful advice, is to stay away as much. Stay away from a lot of stuff as much as you can. Like TikTok, social media, and all of that. If you can quiet that down, I know it's like addictive. But it really keeps you from your blessings. There's so much limited information out there telling you that you have to like the the one of my things is like the feminine masculine energies that's like a whole nother 
it's a whole nother genre. Like, and it's like, it puts you in your mind. Like, am I being this enough? Am I being, no, like it, it's just energy. It's just, all it is, is energy, right? So just be careful. No, I don't want to say the word be careful, but you know, just always, does this feel limiting to me? Does this feel limiting to me? And if it does, keep scrolling. Hey, Lilani, how are you? <laughs> exactly, Kay, exactly. Kay says you got to trust yourself more than the content you're seeing. Yeah, like I notice the more I do this stuff, I don't watch anything, none of it. Like, and I used to, uh, but it really helps you build your discernment as well. So like I always say everything serves its purpose. You can, you can use everything in a positive way, even the content you're scrolling through. So like for me, it built my discernment. It let me know like what, oh, you know what? That feels a little limiting. Like I just want to be me. For me, it's like if I'm feeling good right now and I'm feeling like I'm in alignment and I'm in a good energy, that's enough. I don't have to worry if I'm being feminine enough or masculine enough. I think we just fall into those roles very naturally. If it feels good, it's right, basically, right? Yeah, so, like, that's always good, right? See, uh, Kennedy says, I love success stories. And, like, being happy for others. I, I love that, like, seeing other people that that have succeeded in certain things. Have you written a book? Um, yes, Ferris, I've written a few, I've written a few books, actually. I, I wrote two books um, a few years ago when I first started this stuff. Um, but my my. The best resources for what I talk about now, Ferris, are my ebooks, my three ebooks. They're the ones I always tell people to get. Um, Feel Good, Stay Calm. That's the first one I wrote. Uh, Release Resistance. And my most recent one is How to Stay in Flow. Those three ebooks are the best resources for what I talk about. My, my books that I wrote years ago are more of where I was at in that moment, still under, trying to understand this. A lot of my personal life as well. Um, I don't actually direct people to my books at all, believe it or not. I'm more focused on what I have created so far to help people because I've learned so much from that, right? From then till now. So I always direct people to my eBooks. Get the eBooks, those three eBooks. I have tons of stuff for free too on here. Little ones, little mini eBooks. They're all great. They're all helpful. But I always go with what, where I'm at now and what I've learned this far. My audio as well. I always say, I think maybe one day my audio will be a book. I can make that into a full book because I add to it all the time. Ah, uh, Lily, I uh, yeah, well, remember, like, when you're getting into an argument, you're reactive, Lily, right? So sometimes there's just still a belief there, right? And that's okay. It's okay. You do, you can't make a mistake whether you block or don't block someone, it's fine. But blocking, when you're having an argument first, like it's, that is reacting. So get calm and blocking sometimes means there could still be a belief there. So just stick to the practices, Lily, that's all. That's all you have to do is just stick to the practice. You can't make a mistake. There's no mistakes. I can attest to that. There's no mistakes in this. Trust me. Focus on yourself, Lily. Focus on feeling good on your own. Focus on focus on just, you know, being in this moment and making the best of this moment. Right, Memek? Yes, it is. It's funny because Memek says it's all about managing emotions and it is about being in control of your emotions. And the funny part about it is when you're in flow, you're really just trusting this moment and where you're at and you're not trying to control anything. Right, you're trusting you can, but you can do that more the more you do the practices. You can just go with the flow of this moment and know you're exactly where you're supposed to be, and there's nowhere to be but in this moment, and and stay in flow in this moment. And what happens is you're not controlling anything. Everything, it's all about timing. Everything just falls into place. So yesterday I went tanning, and I do it whenever I feel inspired, and it was free. I always pick the times to go when it's there's always a deal. It's because I just say, you know what? I really feel like going right now and I just go with it. I flow with it, right? So it's all it's all about just going with the flow in this moment, not trying to control anything and trusting that. Like, okay, I'm good. It's like 
Abraham used to say making a decision and lining up with it. That's what it comes down to. Because what causes us discomfort is indecisive energy when you're indecisive. Should I do it? Should I not do it? Should I cook this? Should I not cook that? That keeps you stuck. So in those moments, that's when you want to calm yourself down and say, oh, there I go. There I go arguing with this moment because that's arguing with this moment when you can't make a decision. Should I do this? Should I cook that? Should I go shopping? Should I? And I've done this many times, many, many times. Exactly, Water. Exactly. It all is. It's all working for you guys. For you. Exactly. Oh, I love it, Lily. I'm so happy for you. Exactly. Right, Memic? Exactly. I know. I'm sorry. I, I, re I scroll up and I just um, answer your guys' questions to myself, basically. Making decisions. Right, Caprice? Right? It's just, it's the, it just feels right. Like me doing this live this morning, it just felt right. Like there was no way I was not going to do this live. I'm like, oh, wow. Like I did my morning routine. I don't want to scroll through TikTok. I... I have this great routine going now, like, and it keeps getting better. It, I keep building on it, right? So it's like I get up, I get ready right away. Sometimes my kids, if I'll make my, mostly my daughter, she, now my, like, my kids are even doing great. Like, they're reflecting back amazingly. My son's getting good at driving. My daughter, like, cooks her own food, but I, like, assist her a little bit. I help her. So that's what we did this morning. So I get ready for the day. Every morning I always get ready. I do my mini workout. Uh, I put up my sales for the day for you guys, like anything that's for sale. And then I would usually answer your guys' questions and then scroll through TikTok. But now I'm not scrolling through TikTok anymore. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do a live instead, right? So I'm trying to like make what what's the better decision? What's more in alignment with me? It's really not scrolling anymore. Like that's just not serving me anymore, right? So that's what happens. Like you build on the momentum of what's already there. Hey, Christine. <laughs> right mimic and sometimes slow through that routine because i'm in a lower energy because i'm human right this morning i was i was having a little lower like some resistance or just in a lower energy a little bit but i just move slow through it sometimes i put on my audios i i actually listen i've been listening to the newest one so first it started out as which is I'm, i'll be adding to it soon lazy manifesting it's, I think it's really good. I think it's the best yet. I'm not going to lie. But um, it's more about abundance and knowing your best um, timeline exists in this moment and about flow. It's a lot about flow. It turned into a lot about being in flow. So that's going to be the latest updates on lazy manifesting. Me too, Kay. Me too. I like funny stuff. Like I get annoyed when I scroll through TikTok and it's not funny. I'm like, oh, like, where's all the funny stuff? Like, I thought, I thought, like, I made that happen for myself. Because, you know, TikTok's just like our minds, like your, your subconscious mind. Like, if you keep looking at it, you're going to get that. And that's mostly all I watch. But every now and then, weird stuff pops up. And I'm like, I'm not, I don't resonate with any of this. <laughs> oh, thanks. Wait, yeah, did we get rid of that? Message me now, person. Message me now. Message me now. Um, so, Jan, when you're in a lower energy, the key is to slow down. Slow down in, the, in those moments. Um, relax your body in those moments. Just slow breathing, move slower, take your time with whatever you're, if you're doing, if you're in the middle of something, take your time. It's really, um, Jan, it's really about getting through that lower energy with grace and love and kindness, right? It takes practice, right? Um, you'll get better at it the more you do it. It takes practice. It takes practice not to connect a thought to those moments. Sometimes a story is already there. Sometimes it's not. 
If there's a story there, same thing. Quiet, calm, relax my body. I know I'm moving towards best. I know I'm moving towards better, right? I don't have to figure anything out. So it's really, Jen, it's just a practice that takes practice in those moments. You have to stick with it. Um, we're so quick to like react in those moments, get frustrated in those moments, get angry in those moments, right? That's our programming. But it's it takes a lot of awareness to just calm yourself down and just let it pass. Literally just let it pass. I'm telling you right now, the best way I can explain it, guys, is when you're calm and kind and you move through those lower energies with grace, and I know a lot of you guys can relate to this, I feel like you're, re- I say you're rewarded. I don't know, always something positive comes out of it. Like, and I can't explain it to anyone. You have to be able to, you have to go through it a couple times to get it. It's like you're always rewarded with something more that's in alignment with you. So it's really about moving through those lower energies with like grace and and love and kindness. Um, let me read that better. I gotta do something about this. Cover this straight this strap here. Um. Hold on, let me see that question. How to respond to boss? How to respond to boss accusing, abusing? Okay, so Carrie, abusing you. Okay, so that's a belief within you. You have to do the practice. It's all, Carrie. It's always going to go back to the practice. Using these moments when you feel like somebody's attacking you or hurting you to get quiet, calm yourself down, and relax your body. Here's the thing. Be aware of that also throughout your day. Are you letting that bother you? You're still thinking about it, right? It takes a lot of awareness. That's why these practices, meditation, and doing these relaxing practices and, and reminding yourself that you know you're moving towards best and better, but in order to move towards best and better, I can't react to this. I can't even speak about this. Like Even bringing it up like he's abusing me, he's hurting me, you're putting yourself right back into that victim mindset, right? So you really have to be quiet in those moments, calm yourself down in those moments, relax your body in those moments, right? And remind yourself like I'm moving towards best and better. I'm moving towards best and better, right? But also be aware, Carrie, throughout the day, am I still letting this story bother me, right? Because that's what keeps it active. There's no bond boundaries being crossed or any of that. It's a belief within you. As soon as you release that belief, you're not going to have that experience anymore in your in your reality. But again, it takes a lot of it takes a lot of dedication to these practices, guys, to realize that nobody can really hurt me in my reality. Yeah. Yeah. Earth said, take your time. You, you really want to, you exactly, you do want to do these. You want to do it right. You, you want to live your best life while you're here, guys. So you really have to really go within. You have to go within in these moments. You don't feel good. You have to sit in these lower energies. You know, like I'm telling you, I can tell you guys what to do, but you have to do the practices. You have to really in those moments, you have to feel that discomfort and you have to allow it to pass. You have to you have to show yourself that this moment's not nothing's going to hurt you. This person that you feel like is being mean to you, they can't hurt you. They're not going to hurt you. It's all about calming yourself down and lightening up in those moments, softening your body in those moments and allowing it to pass, right? I always say at first you may cry. You may cry, and that's okay, but you will cry less and less. Even if you're crying to release resistance, you want to still relax your body. Slow breathing in those moments and be consistent. You have to be consistent. Everything in this reality, this goes back to everything in this reality. Now that you know what you know, I'm here to live my best life. My my best reality exists in this moment. My most abundant, amazing reality life exists in this moment. I'm moving towards that in this moment. Anything from this point on that doesn't feel good doesn't match that. And it's that simple. It doesn't match that. I'm telling you what to do in those moments, but you have to be consistent. And it starts with quiet. Don't speak about these things that aren't working, that don't feel good to you. Get quiet. 
Relax your body in those moments and work through it on your own. Prove to yourself it can't hurt you. It can only get better if you do this practice. Um, I listen to Neville, Neville Goddard in the beginning and Joseph Murphy and all of them. I don't listen to anyone really anymore though because honestly, it's, it's very common. All this stuff is common sense. Once you know how this reality works, you just know your best life exists and you're moving towards it now, but you got to make, you got to make this your best life because there only is this move. I don't really follow anyone anymore because you, your life experience is, it's all showing you where you're at in this moment. It speaks for itself. It, you just apply the practices, it just gets better. But yeah, they were there for me when I needed to understand. Listening to Joseph Murphy and Neville and all them, you know, they had their purpose in my life, but I don't listen to them anymore. I don't think they're bad or good. I think they're all great. They're all letting you know that you create your own reality. Yes, Catherine said, I, I believe that too. So as soon as you have a desire, it's already written. So Catherine said, destiny's already written. I wrote a book about that, actually, and it's on here, um, about your destiny. As soon as you have a desire, it's done. The story's written. You on this moment and allow, those, allow it to come in the best way possible. That's all you're doing. So just remember, there's a best version of everything you want as well. Your job is just to get yourself back into this moment and let these things come in right and feel good now and make the best of where you're at. Because these things are not going to make you happy. You'll be right back to square one saying, all right, I got it, but now I ain't happy. It's all about the practices are just knowing what we know now. My best life exists. I can be, do, have anything I want. It's done as soon as I ask. There's a best version of it. I don't got to worry about that. That's not, that's not my job to worry about that part. I got to get out of the way of that. I got to focus on this moment and where I'm at now and feeling good now. That's your only practice. That's it. Yeah, so, so I, um, I says, I like to visualize sometimes when it feels good. Sometimes it doesn't, though. And that's why I tell people not to intentionally, not to intentionally visualize and not to intentionally do affirmations because you want it. That's why. That's why it doesn't feel good sometimes because you're doing it and then you're like, oh, but I'm still, look what I, I'm, I, but look at this and look at that. And you're too focused on the unwanted. That's why these practices, you want to master flow first. Not even master flow. You want to get good at flow and understanding what it means to be in flow before you even, you, well, first of all, you don't have to do anything to manifest ever. You're never going to have to do anything ever to manifest again when you understand flow. Yes, user, I know. I should be, I should be trying to figure out this thing. So, so whenever I update either my phone, not really my phone because I update my lives on my computer. Whenever you know your computer or phone does those updates, everything's got to be got to figure out how to get the lives on my YouTube. One little simple thing, but like I said, it depends on the on the mood that I'm in when I do it. Oh, uh, Memic, isn't Memic, isn't that so freeing? I know guys, I keep going in and out. I'm sorry. My this is spot is not good but i just love it because it's comfy mimic isn't that so for no more scripting no more journaling um no lilani i i don't that's not in my reality you can only manifest oh, i gotta move I don't want to say that I, if you enjoy that stuff, Lilani, I'm not trying to fight against it. I just don't resonate with it. I don't resonate with any of that, that you can only manifest on the full moon. You're always manifesting what you want's done in this moment. And it's that simple. That's just like, oh God, that's just like adding. It's adding, right? It's just more stuff you don't need it's limiting it's limiting it's limiting honestly like i, I don't want to fight against it but like just to see like if it if it's if you feel like it's serving you then that's fine you can have that in your reality but for me that doesn't work astrology you can only manifest on the new moon um i'm telling you it's i have like my reality is so small like i don't entertain any of that stuff 
It's just, there, like I said, nothing has meaning. Just remember, always remember this. Nothing has meaning at all. We place the meaning as we go based off our beliefs, right? The thing about it is, is that a lot of these beliefs got formed over time. These meanings got formed over time and they're so dominant in our reality. That's why you can look up, you can look this up and you'll find so many different, so much information on it, right? You can look up, um, what did somebody ask me yesterday? Angel numbers. You can look up angel numbers. You can find a different meaning for every angel number. So I keep it simple. For me, angel numbers are great. I, when I see them, it means I'm in alignment. That's it. I placed my meaning on it. So you place the meaning as you go. Once you're aware that nothing has meaning, you start to realize, okay, wait, does this serve me and does, does this not serve me? So it's all about that. You know what? Maybe this is limiting me. This moon sign, I can only manifest on the new moon. I have more power on the new moon. You know what? Maybe this is limiting to me. So it's all about knowing what we know now. That's why I say the knowledge. It's all about the knowledge. It's knowing what we know now. You know that you're unlimited, that every possible reality exists, that as soon as you have a desire, it's done in this moment. Okay, you now know also that you don't die. Like there's no end to any of this, guys. Like the energy doesn't die. You're just having. You're just. You're just choosing a new experience, right? So energy doesn't die. You're just choosing a new experience. We're always going to be. You're always going to exist, right? It's not about that. It's about let me learn how to exist in a good way. Like let me learn how to like be happy in this moment. Because you know now everything's done. You know your best life exists. So it's the knowledge. It's also knowing that every um, nothing has meaning. These meanings got placed over time. Nothing has meaning here. Nothing at all has meaning. It's it's these meanings are very they they feel so real. They feel so like believable because people are convincing, and you know the internet's convincing, Google's convincing, and we find ourselves searching and oh and and that's why honestly I say it sounds really bad, but. I mean, I think most, a lot of it's very limiting. I find myself in my own bubble, just focused on what I have now and making the best of what I have now. I don't really scroll through anything. I don't watch the news. I don't follow politics. And now I'm barely on TikTok. That was like the last bit of my social media scrolling, right? So like, you really learn that like, it's unless you can make it work to your benefit for a little bit. Like I was using tarot readers to my benefit for a little bit because they were positive. I had like one girl that I loved. Her messages messages were so positive and they were short and to the point. But if you start getting into other ones, they're going to start getting into, oh, people are jealous of you and um, be aware of the negative forces. Like it's very limiting. And it's like, no, absolutely not. I'm just not buying into any of that. So you get to choose now. And the more you start to do these practices and feel better, you're just not going to resonate with things. You're going to realize this is limiting. I had a combo with my soul last night and don't to deny me. Exactly, Lily. Like you, you just, you just have to trust yourself. And that's really what it comes down to. Hi, Susan. I'm going to, I am actually, we are limitless. Exactly. I'm probably, I'll, I'm going to, I'll stay on for a little bit more, but I'm going to take my son driving today. That's kind of why I wanted to do this live early, earlier, so I could take him driving um, while it's like daylight. Do you, Susan? Yeah, you do. Wait, Susan, that's always my topic anyway, about timing. Like about how when you're in flow, everything just falls into place. And I always say it's not about, it's not about controlling anything. It's actually the opposite. You're, you're letting go of control and everything works in your favor. Everything works in your favor. Like everything just like, it's like you go there at the right time. You go there at the right time. And it just all kind of just flows, right? Yeah, so Memek, I... Oh, send you a picture. Can you screenshot it? <laughs> Can you screenshot my? I have to. Tr I have to try to get you. Um, I'll have to do a, like a live one day with you guys with my hair, and then it's on. And then it'll be on YouTube, and then we could talk about manifesting as well. So like you're, you're doing it all at once. Exactly. We're human, Lily. We're human. But you you have those experience less and less. Honestly, like don't think you're 
going to be consistently experiencing things unfavorable. You're not. You're not. And you're so much better when you have these tools in your back pocket when that does pop up out of nowhere. Like, where did that come from? I don't know where that came from. We're creating our own reality because it's all it's literally all coming from us. But if something catches you off guard, you know what to do now. You lay low. You get calm. You get quiet. It will pass. It just gets easier. It just gets easier. Can you, as I said, can you... Um, I do need a cut. I need a, I'll, I have to cut it soon. So I'll give you like a demo, um, on how I cut it. And I do need to dye it too. I'm getting late. I'm, I've been lazy. Like it's getting kind of long here. I wouldn't do that then. That your, your question speaks for itself, motto. I want to see my SP and talk, but I fear... He doesn't want to try again. Then you need to be focused. You need to feel good. So that doesn't feel good. Your whole comment speaks for itself. That means you got to focus on what's happening right now in your life right now and feeling good without the relationship. That's what that says to me. That says to me, you need to feel good without the relationship. Right now, right now you're too focused on the unwanted. Ah. Thanks, Mimic. I'm 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 hungry too, so I'm probably ju gonna jump off in a, in a minute. You hear you hear Roxy? It's Roxy. He's she, he. I said I wish I could show you guys because she's so funny. Wait, hold on. Uh, it's it's her. Look at her hand. Her hands over her head. She's not supposed to be on the couch. I I put a blanket there, but you know how that works. She's a bit she's a big girl. All my nail polishes, you can see all my nail polishes. Yeah, that was her. She's so she snores so loud. Ain't that funny? You, you know, like if you guys have my audio, you hear my dogs occasionally. I, I do good at getting a lot of it out, but some of it I'm like, you know what? It's too good to, I won't cut it out just because of a dog making a noise. Like um, the beginning of my audio, lazy manifesting is, I love that manifest properly, that part, because it's, oh, I did it all in the summer and the spring. So it's all nature sounds in the back. But now when I do it, it's in, it's in my house because, you know, it's not that nice to be outside because it's cold, right? You know what? I don't know where Steve's at. I think he's with my daughter. I think he, he might be in her room. He likes to be like, he'll lay in a hamper on top of a pile of clean clothes, like literally on clean clothes. Oh, nice to meet you too. Um, I'm not going to say your name right. Dan? Dan? I'm going to say Dan. Can I say Dan? Oh, you guys like it. Yeah, you know, you have, you have it. Yeah, like I'll have a little bark in the background and I'll try to like cut it out a little, like so you'll hear just a little bit of it. But I don't want to cut the audio. I told you guys, my audios, they're, they're literally inspired. I can't redo it. I can't redo something. And if it doesn't feel inspired, I don't, I delete it. That happens too. When I feel like I'm forcing it, it like you're going to get the most recent one, which is a lot about flow and being in flow. Um, Really good, th it'll be really good to listen to over and over and over again because it talks a lot about like how your um, your most, you know, abundant timeline is happening now and it's moving towards you now and it's all about now and making the best of now. So it talks a lot about that and ways to get, feel good now. Um, but yeah, like it's, you're going to get a lot of this stuff. You're going to get a lot of these guys in it, but I do. I try to cut. I try to cut it out. But like that's inspired. These were all inspired. So it's just one after another. Me just constantly adding to it. I actually I forgot what I was trying to say there. <laughs> no, I didn't do no self concept. Um, listen, my way is nothing like what other people are teaching out there. There's there's no there's you're not you don't have to work on your self concept. My practices take care of all of that. My practices are, are, you're just knowing that everything you want's done. 
You're knowing that everything you want's done, it's making its way to you, right? And you're just learning how to make the best of where you're at by doing my practices. Relaxing practices and reminders, that's it. There's no working on your self-concept. There's no affirmations. There's no doing anything. You're literally just learning how to make the best of where you're at. And that's what's bringing in your manifestations in the best way possible. So no, it's none of that extra stuff. Because as soon as you start working on your self-concept, you're saying there's something wrong with you. And there's nothing wrong with you. Okay, like that, I never vibed with that. I used to always say that, Linda, like you just want to do better than what you had, right, for your kids. Ah, <laughs> oh, Lily, I love it. So happy for you. You'll see the more you do these practices, it's about, um, it's all about that flow. I'm going to get you to a place where you're in, in flow and you understand when you're not in flow and it's okay. You just relax your body and you'll be catching those moments when you're, you're going to be so aware. It's going to be so obvious that you literally create your own reality with these practices. There's going to be no like, oh, how did that happen? Or oops, that happened. It's very clear that it's all you with my practices. Very, 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 very clear that you are running the show. Very obvious. It all comes down to just being with the flow in this moment, right? Knowing what it feels like to be in flow and when you might be cutting it off a little bit and how to get right back into that flow. That's literally my practices, plain and simple. That's it. That's all you're ever doing. Everything you want's done. Anything you want in the best way possible. You can be doing have anything you want. Absolutely no limitations. You can have whatever you want. Answers, yes. It's making its way to you as soon as you ask. That's it. Now you want to make the best of this moment and do my practices. Oh, thanks, Kelly. It's so straight. I actually don't love, I, I use her so sweet, you know, compliment me, but I don't love my hair like this. It's so straight. But once I straighten it the first day after drying it, I have to ride it out till I wash it again. And I'm not washing it again, so we're going to wait it out. <laughs> but thank you, guys. When it's good, oh, look, I did that. When it's bad, oh, exactly, Water. Yes. <laughs> it's really about taking full responsibility, right? <laughs> Kurt said it's horrible. <laughs> I like the fact that I don't complain. Uh, so yeah, Lily, for me, it's, yeah, like, you, you know where you can find me. I'm on these lives all the time. Um, you can get my, my, I don't do coaching. I don't do that yet. Maybe in the future, maybe I'll do something. I would I always did always say back in the day that I would like to do a group coaching, not one-on-one. -on -one. There's no need for one-on-one, -on -one, but maybe more of a support system where it would be a group coaching, like a Zoom call where there's a bunch of us and, you know, it's kind of like this, but more personal. That's probably the direction I would go, guys, if I did a coaching. I would never do one-on-one, -on -one, though. It's just, it's kind of it just leads to venting in some way, shape, or form. That's what I've learned from it. So I've just learned that, the best way probably to go about any type of coaching would probably be for me to do like Zoom calls twice a week or something like that to help you guys stay in alignment and different ways and practices to help you guys with your questions, your personal questions. Um, that's maybe something I will do in the future. But right now, you can find me on here all the time. You can get my eBooks, get my audios, or go right to release resistance. Tons of great stuff on there. So I have tons of stuff out here for you guys. But um, yeah, that would probably be the route I would go. Uh, I wouldn't be too hard on yourself, Flip. Don't be hard on yourself. Like saying like accountability, like, you know, like, oh, it's all me. Like, but you also want to give yourself grace because you're still learning this as well. You know, like you want to take a lot of that, like, don't be hard on yourself because like I said, there's no, you can't make a mistake once you know this, you just get better at it. It's really about being consistent with the practices. That's all. You can't make a mistake. You just get better at it, but don't be hard on yourself. Don't be hard on yourself if, if you're like confused or you're having a moment because to me, it's all part of it. <laughs> Jen says the most honest Best question I ever heard. How to get out of your head when you live in your head. 
do the do my practices. So it Jen, a quick little practice to help you get out of your head when you're always in your head is to go right to your face and relax your face. Just drop your face. I say drop your face because it's like, you know, you clench your jaw. Drop your shoulders, Jen, and do some slow breathing. That puts you right back into your body. Um, it's, it's all practices and reminders, Jen. Start a meditation practice. That'll be very helpful for you if you're always in your head. Um, but again, it's really just sticking to the practices, reminding yourself, I don't got to figure anything out. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be in this moment. So it's always going to come back to the, to the same, my same practices. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off. I'm going to be back later though today. I, I plan on being back later. Like I said, I never know how my day is going to go, but my intention and my plan is to get back on live later. Um, but I'm going to get off for now, get something to eat. I'm telling you about my whole day, basically. Uh, and then I don't know what time. Maybe later, later I might do a live. We'll see how it goes. Wait, what was that quick question? Can I affirm that I get what I want even if I have to? Yeah, I mean, if that feels good to you, if you're affirming, I don't, I tell people not to do affirmations. Um, I like it. I like more, you are going to get what you want, but for me, it's more of, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be in this moment. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be in this moment. And it's, it's more about accepting that you can't be anywhere, but in this moment, everything's making its way to you, right? You do want to release any doubts. You want to release those doubts, right? Cause that doesn't feel good to have doubts. So you really want to understand that whenever you're having doubts, it's time to do the practice. It's time to calm myself down. It's time to relax, to get myself back in flow, right? But if right now that feels good that to say that, say it, say it. It's fine. There's no wrong or right. <laughs> Later, Gator. All right, guys, I'll be back later. Everybody have a good rest of the day. And I'll see you later. <laughs> bye. All right. Me and my awkward buys.